Welcome back. Today video we're going to talk about Cisco configuration. The real simple to get you started. We're going to talk about configure the hostname enable password, create a v two VLANs, SI interface to VLAN, create an SI interface range to VLAN. So um, so basically you can um, go into your switch and um, I want to create two VLAN um maybe split 50 50 half half and then we need to create an uplink port um so i'm going to use the g gigabit port one and that one will be my uplink and the other one would be gigabit 13 for the other vlans so let's configure a host name the first thing we need to do is first configure a host name so basically you just gonna just go config terminal or T and then type hostname equal whatever names you wanted to I'll put a local network and that's one done now enable password so by typing triple A new dash model and then you go enable secret Um, we're just going to use Cisco as the password and then username um, configure as Cisco with capital C the privilege would be the default one the privilege 15 and the password would be the same as Cisco I just got to fix up my cap lock. Okay, so that one was done. And also notice that you got to add line VTN04 uh, and privilege 15 in order to um, make that one to work. The next one is we talking about is um, create two VLAN. The first VLAN would be VLAN 1 or whatever VLAN you needed, 10 up to you. Uh, IP address would be um, DSCP or you can configure it um, manually but um, in this video I just leave as DSCP. Um, the second one is VLAN 2 um, and then same thing address would be DSCP. I think I had a bit of problem on this one so I will um, do it again. But let's try again IP address DHCP enter it take it took it so do remember to write so if you, you can write in here by do write or exit or in and then type write command and the third the fourth one is assign the interface to VLAN so I picked the VLAN one on Gigabit one as the top one there as my uplink port. And we're just gonna use that one for my uplink. Description is uplink. Now to VLAN one. So it's just only showing descriptions. and um, we have to access to switch port access to vlan1 i think switch port is spelled wrong so usually you can just type switch and then tap on your keyboard it will give you a command that you're after if not you just keep on tapping exit vlan1 um, we're gonna giving a storm control and are doing two broadcast and multicast in this case. So my uplink always gonna be 100% for broadcast and uh, multicast is the same 100%. So 
So all of link would be 100%. Now, we always, you always need to do fast, a spanning fast port. So it's really simple and this one should work really well. And um, that's all you need to do for uplink port. Now, from time to time you have to write them, but it's up to you when you want to write it. So I'll just do write as well as I go. So it's done properly. And the next one is I'm gonna create an SI interface range VLAN one to uh, from interface gigabit one uh, number two to gigabit twelve port twelve. So I forgot to put the range there. So so interface range. I still so we just put range between. So if you you can do this as bulk, so by doing add the range command, or you can do one by one, but that takes a long time. But it depends on what you're after, what you're doing. If you want to different call it differently, or label them as you go. Um, for the description in this one, it will be um, internet. So all port two to twelve will be internet or available internet connection. And again, storm control. You I basically just hit storm and then tap, type the first letter. Um, I like to give it about twenty percent, twenty percent on each ports. So if if you're doing some imaging, large image, it's only used up to 20% of um, that ports. And as well, level multicast would be 20% as well. And spanning three fast port. And that's so simple, that's done already. And now you can just write it and enjoy using it. Um, but um, because I'm doing two VLAN, so I can using one switch with separate VLAN. So therefore, it's isolated to each other. It's really handy when you have two different connections, or if you have more than two connections, you can do the same thing. And this is work really, really well. So the second one that I'm doing is uh, I'm giving a VLAN 2 and that VLAN 2 there will, will access to my um, the uplink would be gigabit 13 port 13 in this case and the range for range would be 14 to 28 so let's make uplink first so copy it so that would be my uplink this will one this one will access to VLAN 2 description um, just name whatever name you want to do but I clearly I put name as uplink just check up what I did for the other one so this will go into VLAN 2 go wrong again <laughs> so the next thing you need to do is um, doing switch port access to VLAN 2. Um, I had a problem VLAN didn't work so I'm just gonna um, create the VLAN 2 again so you just just you just basically just type interface VLAN 2 and then do the same thing uh, IP giving IP address to the SCP let's do it again but somehow it didn't work so maybe i didn't write it so i think i'm pretty sure i do i do write as i go so do write now give another try so so you need to go switch port
keep on spelling it incorrectly. So it didn't work. I think I know why. Because I'm not in the um I'm not into the interface port 13. So let's type it in again. So do remember you have to be in that interface in order to um apply the command. So I'm in there now, switch port, access, VLAN 2, and then um, for this one, I already gave the description, so that's all, right, all done. Let's create a storm broadcast level. Obviously, I'm going to give it to 100% because it's my other uplink. Same thing, storm multicast level to 100 so whatever you are doing, imaging, uh, using for internet connection, um, this is the best configuration that you that I have been um, using. So it works really well. Oh. And um, spanning three fast port. Remember to write it down. Write do write command. Um, so that's done. Now I'm just gonna create the interface range of the VLAN to on the range from 14 to 28. Okay, so that's accepted. Now description would be um, whatever you want to name it. thinking I might give it to um, my TFTP or TFTP network. Yeah, that would be good. So you can image this one using this port range. Um, storm broadcast. Uh, first of all, switch port access to VLAN 2 and storm broadcast would be a 20 percent so each port will use up to 20 percent of uplink 100 percent so if you have about 10 machine easy this uh, five machine that will be all good storm multicast 20 percent as well spanning three fast port Pull fast, sorry, and do right command. It's it's done. Um, it's ready to use, so you can connect to your uplink to the both uplink. Please write it down if you remember, so you or you can just run um, show interface description, so you then you can see which one is your uplink and which range. So I ideally you want to keep the you know, all in the sequence, so it's easy to managing, and uh, description is important too. So, so you can tell it's isolated from VLAN one and VLAN two. It's been great. So, and please do subscribe if if you haven't already. I hope you like my video, and this is a really good one that um for beginner or and even experts still can use this one. And um, I think it's worked well to me anyway. So have a good one. See you next time. Oh, by the way, I forgot to tell you to copy run command to start up. And um, when you restart your, uh, your Cisco switch, it should work. Cool, I'll restart it and it's allow me to enter the password now obviously i didn't put the other command previously so it didn't come up with username so if you do apply the other command will be fine you thank you for watching my video hope you enjoy and learn new things from this video see you next time